Hi, everybody. Welcome. I just did my two-month blood work yesterday and got the results back today. I went ahead and did a full panel and paid out of pocket because my physician only ordered an A1C and a lipid panel, but I really want to keep detailed records of my journey doing this. Some of the tests I've labeled are from February of last year to August of this year. I just didn't have the test done when I went to the emergency room. And to be honest, when I first started this, I didn't quite realize I was going to do what I was going to do along these lines and recording everything so thoroughly. But for the future, I'll make sure that I continue to do the full panels. My goal, I believe, is to do it every three months. I think I go back to the physician in maybe a little bit more than two months, and I think I will just preemptively do another set maybe two months out right before I see him. We'll just kind of play it by ear for that. Let's just jump right in. The first test is my thyroid test. It was 3.18 last year, and it's 3.0 this year. There really isn't much of a change to be concerned about. Next, we have the one I'm really excited about is my A1C. It was 7.1 the beginning of last year, and it is 5.4. That means I am no longer even considered within the pre-diabetic range for my A1C, which is exciting. The most interesting thing about this is the A1C is an average of a three-month blood sugars. I've only been doing carnivore for two of the three months. Before that, I was doing the SAD diet. Are you guys ready for the craziest change? Last year, my triglycerides were 343. That is so high. That is double, more than double actually, than what they should be. Yesterday, my triglycerides were 135. That is amazing to me. My cholesterol, overall cholesterol, went down just a little bit. My HDL decreased slightly, and then it looks like my LDL cholesterols went up slightly. I'm not remotely concerned. The new research shows that having elevated LDL is not indicative of heart or stroke like it was previously thought. Also, this test panel, it's just a calculation. They take a snapshot and use a formula to calculate everything out. It is not very accurate, so I'm not remotely concerned. Everything else is headed in a great direction. On the comprehensive metabolic panel, we can see that Two months ago, my glucose was 161. This time it was 87, which is great. Um, everything else looks pretty good. The only change I need to pay attention to is the ALT. It was 39, and this time it was 45. Now, the irony is you can see the range differences. The range on the right is from Quest Diagnostics. This is where I paid for it. The range on the left is through my um, healthcare provider and what they're okay with. So looking at that, I'm still technically within normal limits, but it is something I want to look at because I do have non-alcoholic fatty liver and it's just, you know, something for me to pay attention to. The very last test I had done was just a CBC. Everything is normal. It looks great. No issues. I'm pleased. Overall, everything has gotten better. Nothing has gotten worse for the most part. And I'm really excited. Guys, this is just two months. I will be ecstatic to do this again in another two months before I see the primary care. And I'm going to be honest, I wish... Maybe I'll convince to let him. I want to record his face when he sees this. This is dramatic changes in such a short period of time. And let's be honest, the path I was on was going to lead to death quite quickly for me. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you have a good rest of your week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.